parables about prayer. When Jesus lived on earth, he taught people many important things about God and heaven using parables. One day, Jesus told three stories to teach people about prayer. Jesus wanted his friends to know that God wants us to keep asking when we pray. So Jesus told a story to help his friends understand. Late one night, some unexpected visitors arrived at a man's house. They were tired and very hungry after walking a long way to his town. But the man had no food for his guests. It was about midnight, but the man decided to borrow some bread from his good friend. He knew he would already be in bed, but the man's visitors needed something to eat. The man called, could you lend me some bread? Some company has come and I have no bread. His friend woke up when he heard the man shouting out for bread. Go away, he called back. The house is locked and we are all in bed. Come back tomorrow. It's late and cold and I do not want to waken my children. The man did not stop. He kept on calling to his friend. Please, please help me. I need three loaves of bread for my visitors, he yelled. I, I won't go away until you give me some. Eventually, the man in the house could take no more. He got out of bed and went to the kitchen to give his friend the bread he needed. He helped his friend because he kept asking. Jesus said that the man got what he needed because he never gave up and that we should be like the man when we pray. Later, Jesus told the people another story to show them that they should always pray and not give up until they received an answer. In a certain town, there was a judge who did not fear God or care about man. He looked down on people who were poor. His job was to make sure that disputes between people were settled according to the law. But instead of treating people fairly, he would take bribes and reward the rich people. A poor widow in that town had been treated badly. Others had taken advantage of her and broken the law. So she went to the judge for help. The widow said, please grant me justice. I need your help. But the judge would not listen. She was poor and could not pay. And he had more important cases to judge. He just put her off, hoping that she would go away and not come back. But the widow would not be put off. The next day, the widow came again to the judge. Sir, please help me. Grant me justice from those who took my property unfairly. It's not fair, she shouted. I have been treated badly, and it's your job to help me. The judge just ignored her. But the widow would not give up. She shouted down at him from her flat roof as he passed by. She yelled down at him whenever she saw him. Give me justice. When the judge went to bed, she called out to him from the street. 
And in the morning, she was waiting by his door as he left for work. I am a poor widow, and I have been treated very unfairly, she pleaded. Those who have treated me badly have broken the law, and it's your job to make sure the law is obeyed. When the judge went to buy fruit at the market, guess who was there? When are you going to listen and give me justice, she demanded. Lady, you are wearing me out, said the judge. But the widow would not stop. Everywhere the judge went, the poor widow was there, insisting the judge take on her case. At last, the judge gave in. Okay, okay, I give in, he gasped. I'll judge your case and make sure you are treated fairly according to the law. I do not care about these men or God, but I will give you justice. The poor woman was pleased. At last she would have the matter sorted out and justice would be done. Jesus said, if an evil judge can be worn down like that, don't you think that God who loves you will give justice to his people who plead with him day and night? Yes, he will answer them quickly. But the question is, when I, the Messiah, return, how many will I find who have faith and are praying? Jesus wanted his friends to understand something else. He wanted them to know that God wants to give us the things that are best for us. So he asked his friends, If you had a little boy or girl and he or she said, Father, I am hungry. Would you give me a fish to eat? Which would you give him? A fish or a snake? Why, you would give him a fish. What? If instead your child asked you for some bread, would you give him some stones? No, you wouldn't do that. What if instead your child asked you for an egg? Would you give your child a stinging scorpion? Of course not. You love your own child. If you know how to give good things to your child, don't you think God will give you good things? Luke 11, 9 and 10. Ask and it will be given you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives.